Hey everybody, welcome back to Zindi. This is episode two on how to use Silhouette Studio software. If you haven't seen our first episode, I definitely recommend checking it out. It's gonna be all the basics of what you need to know to get started on Silhouette Studio. And we'll kind of refer back to that video during this one, so it's just a good one to watch. Uh, today, we're gonna focus more on these tools on the left-hand side, kind of give you an idea of what they do and how to use them. Okay, so, and again, we're using business edition of Silhouette Studio for these tutorials, so if yours looks a little different, it's because we have business edition. You'll mainly see the difference over here on the right-hand side. This won't really change. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, first things first, you have your first tool, your arrow, your select tool. That's basically what it says, what it, it does what it says. Okay, so it's just a way for you to select your items, okay? So you can draw a box around it, have everything, move it around. It's just a way to select what you need. Move things around. Um, anytime you wanna right click, you need to select it first, right click, and it'll give you that menu. Um, also, using a lot of these tools, you need to select it first in order for these tools to work. Okay, so that's our select tool. The next one is the lasso tool, which is just another way to select things, okay? So we're gonna go up here, we're gonna get our little arrow and just zoom in a little bit so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, so we're gonna select the lasso tool and I'm gonna show you how that works. You basically just draw around whatever you're trying to select and then it'll select it for you. So that's what the lasso tool does. Okay, this is a points editor. When you click it, you'll see the points of whatever object you have selected. We're not gonna go in detail yet because I wanna explain these first for this points thing to make more sense. Okay, so we're gonna skip that one for now, but we'll come back to it shortly. All right, we're gonna zoom back out. I'm gonna use my select arrow, select everything, move this out of the way so you can see some options. Okay, so this these options are all ways for you to design and draw in Silhouette Studio. Okay, so we're gonna go to our line tools first, and we're gonna go to the first one. We're basically drawing a line. That's all it does is it draws straight lines. So when you're designing, that sort of thing is really helpful, okay? So we're gonna go back to our select tool so I can show you what this little green thing does. This little green uh, dot at the top, that's how you can rotate. So anytime you see that little green um, circle at the top of your items, that's just a way for you to rotate it, okay? All right, so there's your line. Now, if you wanted to do an actual shape, you wanna make a shape, but you, uh, you want it to have straight lines, okay? So you can click this one. All right, so draw a polygon. This was with straight, uh, straight lines. And then you can just click on your canvas and draw whatever you want until you close your shape, okay? So our shape's closed and we have that, okay? So, oop, I didn't mean to pick the lasso. All right, so we're gonna take our select tool we're gonna go in this corner. Again, anytime you're sizing or resizing your items, if you wanna keep your proportions, you wanna use the corners to resize so that you keep your proportions, okay? So we're just gonna resize that, move it over here. Let me change the color so you can see it. All right, now let's go to the next one. The next one also is to draw a polygon, but this is, will be a curve shape, okay? So if you wanna do some kind of curve shape, you're gonna use that, okay? Oop. Click that, and then you can just click around until you get whatever. This is good for tracing, like if you have an image that you're trying to uh, create or draw, you can use that and then just trace around your image to get your item. Um, also, just be aware whenever you're making these shapes that you always wanna close them so they're fully closed for cutting. Okay, next one is this, is to make a curve. The nice thing about this, it'll show you that inside angle. So if you need to do several curves and you want them to match, you can just say 90 degrees, and now we have this little curve that's 90 degrees, okay? All right, next thing is the shapes. So it's just our basic shapes, rectangle, uh, rounded rectangle, ellipse, and then a regular polygon. Okay, so any of them, we're just gonna pick the ellipse and then you can just draw what you want and then let it go and now you have an ellipse. You can always edit these after, um, but this is just for you to get the basic shape. If 
we are not worried about proportions you can use the sides and you can change it to whatever you'd like okay this one different shapes okay so let's say we want to do the moon so you have a moon shape you can draw it however up down rotate whatever you want once you let it go it'll stop you can still edit it and then if you notice you'll have this little uh, red uh, circle you can use that to edit it further okay kind of give you an idea so if you want to have several different moons the phases of the moon that's a good way to design that okay move that out away okay this is just freehand drawing tool so you got this one it's completely freehand like however you move that's what it's going to be and then you have another one this one is more of a smooth one so if you're using this one it's going to kind of smooth it out for you so you don't have to work so hard to get nice smooth uh, lines also for the smoothing one you can make it stronger so like say if we do 100 percent and we did something it would be a lot smoother a lot simpler okay so these are just different options for you to draw edit that sort of thing all right before we go to typing let's go ahead and go back to the edit points tool okay so let's go to our moon okay because we haven't um see if you right click you can convert to path we haven't done that yet so right now the software knows it's a shape that they have that's why you have this little red red um option because you can still edit it like this once you right click and you convert to path that red goes away and it's basically the shape it is unless you edit the points directly okay so we're going to do that so we have our moon selected and we're going to go to edit points and now you will see all these little gray squares now that means that you can take these little gray squares and you can edit them as you need so like if you need to do something different um this is how you would design okay so this is if you have like maybe something that's like pokey that shouldn't be pokey or not rounded enough this is where you can do that okay so that is how to edit the points also you see this because this little red circle is here you can use that still because we have not converted that to a path but if we convert to path now you can no longer do that okay um so edit points we're going to select our item we're going to edit points and then you can see all the points again and use them how you want and then these little handles you can edit even further okay another thing you can do at this point is you can right click and you can make the point smooth or you can make it like a corner you can make it flat or curved so if i make it flat you notice it makes it nice flat all right this corner it'll let you move it in a way where it knows it's a corner and it'll be nice and pointy like that go back to edit points and let's do so we pick our point right click make flat and that made that flat pick our point right click smooth it if we want it to be smooth take our point right click uh, you can delete one if you don't want it to be there and what it'll do is just connect the other two pick our point edit it you can break the path like if you don't want it to be open right there i mean not uh, closed right there you can do that and now the path is broken so you can edit it further Let's see if i can get close up to the part edit point see now it's broken so you can edit do whatever you want or you can connect it back to make the path again and again this is just a quick rundown of these i'm going to do a further video explaining exactly how to design we'll design something so you can fully grasp the concept but i just want to give you a rundown of what these do so if you find yourself in a bind and you just need to do something simple these items will definitely help you so that's just the basic rundown of editing points okay we're going to take our select arrow i'm just going to delete all of this to get that out of the way 
All right, typing tool, we went over this in the last video. You just select the typing tool, click on your canvas. You can type what you need. You can change the font up here to whatever you'd like. Sorry, select it first. You can change the font to whatever you'd like. Resize based on the corner to not lose your proportions. Your color over here. All right, so that's the typing tool. This is to add a note to your project. This is just for you. Um, uh, so if you're working on a project and you want to just remember what you're doing, remember what font you used or what color you used or where you're at and you're just scared you're going to forget or how many of something you need, you can add these little post-it notes uh, for your project so when you open it up again, it has that. So you're basically, it's just little reminders. It's super helpful. To get rid of it, you just press this little X right here. It's going to ask if you want to delete it. And yes, we do. Um, next thing is this uh, knife tool. So let me show you that. So we're going to make a circle. We're going to take this knife tool and we can basically use that. And it's going to do exactly what it says. It's just going to cut it. So now we have a broken circle. Okay. Um, and then the other thing is, let's change the color of this to whatever. Okay, now, so the other thing is this uh, eyedropper. Okay, so what that'll do, you, if you notice, if I don't have anything selected, I cannot select the eyedropper. Okay, I have to have something selected to select the eyedropper tool. Okay, so I have that selected select the eyedropper and then whatever I click is going to make those properties match. Okay. So we match that color or I can click it again and it'll match that color. So that's what that does. If you're using the eyedropper tool on type. Okay. So this type is still editable. I haven't welded it or anything like that. This one is not, so I can't um, use it on that, but let me write out another thing that's still editable. able to be edited. Okay, so this. So if I wanted this to match this in size, color, and font, I would click this, I would click the little eyedropper, and then I would click that, and now we have identical. So um, like I said before, if you make tumbler cups, anything like that, or things with a lot of names on it, and you wanna change it, and you want them to all match, that's a really good tool. Um, you type in your list and then if you decide to change the font, you can use that eyedropper and just change them all rather than individually doing it. Um, so that is the general idea of all of these tools on the left. I hope that was helpful, you guys. Again, don't forget to like and subscribe. We'll be doing a lot more videos of, um, on Silhouette Studio. Go over the rest of the tools up here and then all of the ones here. And then we'll get deeper into what each one of these can do um, and show you how to design and all of that stuff. Thank y'all again. I appreciate all of you. And I will see y'all next time. Bye.